Thank you so much for tuning in to Awakening with Katina Love. We are a conscious channel to learn about self-empowerment, the law of attraction, financial abundance, metaphysics, and natural health. Please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Awakening with Katina Love. Today, we have a special returning guest, Jacqueline Nicole Johnston, also known as Journal Girl Jacqueline. Today, we're going to talk about using cognitive functioning to manifest your ideal relationship. How are you, Jacqueline? I'm wonderful. How are you? I am great. So congratulations to becoming a number one best-selling author on Amazon for your book, Don't Feel Stuck. Thank you so much. It's like some days I'm still like, oh, did that really happen? Oh yeah, it did. <laughs> wow, that is so awesome. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. And then also congratulations, congratulations to your second book that came out recently, Don't Feel Stuck in Love. Thank you. Yeah, that one I poured like all of my like heart and soul of like everything I did to manifest my ideal relationship into that workbook. Awesome. So I love the books. I have them both. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for what you do. Thank you for sharing all your wisdom, your knowledge, and all of your experiences. I can tell that you pour your heart and soul in these. It shows. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can feel the energy from the books. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm really glad that you love them. I do. And I started out, I'm kind of savoring the second one. Don't for a suck in love. <laughs> yeah. But I am utilizing at the moment right now, the first book, Don't Feel Stuck. And I love how you talk about journaling methods to transform your mindset and live in, a, in universal abundance. I love how you share your manifesting rituals and your tactics and your tips and how the, all the space on the inside, you know, to journal and to, you know, write your gratitude, things you're grat grateful for, um, your gratitude points. And just you sharing your experience of how to manifest. Your stories are so inspiring and give people so much hope. Oh, thank you. Yeah, because I grew up um, most of my life. I mean, I'm, I make it sound like I'm like 60, but <laughs> I, I, I grew up most of my 35 plus years um, with a lot of anxiety and just allowing fear and anxiety to just take over. Mm -hmm. And I just decided a couple of years ago, I said enough is enough and mm -hmm. I got to take, you know, take back my power again get into the driver's seat of my life. And so I experimented on myself and I started writing every day and I wrote with intention of writing into reality and it totally worked and it worked within 10 months, which is even crazier, but it's true. Mm -hmm. And as long as you like literally set your intentions every single day and writing such a powerful tool to help you believe, because when you write something, yeah. you set that intention for it to be true. So that just kind of like helped propel the manifestations to um, happen even faster. So now I call it mastering manifesting yeah. because yeah, because you're manifesting faster through this method. Oh, I agree with you because since I've been journaling, <laughs> I've I got your book. I'm trying to remember. I think I got the first book, Don't Feel Stuck. I think I got that in January. And now it's February. Well, let me just say that since I've been journaling and doing all of my manifesting rituals and you're right, writing things down is so powerful. I have now manifested two unexpected checks in the mail this year. That's awesome. And we're only in February. <laughs> we're only in February. <laughs> so the first one was for 300. I'm like, wow, this is cool. This is like so cool. I was like, oh, is this real? And so that happened, right? And then I was like, wow, I can just start manifesting more checks, right? And so I started playing with it because you what you do want to pretend like it is a game. It's like no attachment. It's like, what if, you know, it's like, I don't care if it happened, if it doesn't happen, right? You kind of right. talk about that too. And uh, I was like, well, what if I just double it next time? And so this yeah. time I almost doubled it. So it was 300 first time, second time it was 554. So I was like, oh, 600, that would be nice. 
So now that I got that right, so now I'm going to keep on making it higher, you know, according to my comfort level. So right. this was going to be 900. I just said 928 because I like that number because it is a game. <laughs> yeah, that is. You're right. It's totally a game. And and like, yeah, like you said, you want to be comfort comfortable with it. But at the same time, like you want to kind of get out of your comfort zone because that's where the magic happens. But you don't want to do it to the point of overwhelming yourself. So I think you're approaching it exactly how you should. Absolutely. So <laughs> we talk, We start off by talking about manifesting money and checks, right? So let's talk some more about what is cognitive functioning and how can we use it to manifest our ideal relationship? Yeah, so everything is energy in our universe. So, I mean, you perceive your reality. If you think that in your life, it's hard to receive things, then it's going to be hard for you to receive things. However, if you like tweak your belief system and you do that on a conscious and subconscious level, and that whenever I say that, it scares people because they're like, well, how do I train my subconscious? Well, you train your subconscious by training your conscious over and over and over again. So you like practice, you know, your, your changing your belief systems at a conscious level. And then over time, your subconscious lines up to your conscious level. And then that's mm -hmm. basically, you know, when you stop, you know, worrying about, well, is it going to happen? When is it going to happen? What if it doesn't happen? And you just like relax and you allow it to happen. And then right. as soon as you fully surrender and, and you surrender to the timing of it and how it comes to be, then bam, the universe like instantly delivers whatever it is you are manifesting in your life, including your ideal relationship. I mean, I was single for nine years mm -hmm. and I was single because I was so scared to get back into a relationship with anybody. I was very fearful of men. And uh -huh. um, I just decided two years ago, you know what, I'm, I'm ready to manifest, you know, my soulmate, my twin flame, my best friend, but I want it to be someone who is actually supposed to be with me. You know, like yeah. I don't want to settle and I don't want to, you know, experiment to the point where you know I fully trust somebody and then I get hurt again I was like I'm just gonna relax and allow this to take its time because the one I'm manifesting is gonna be that particular person for me mm -hmm. and it happened within 10 months so wow. uh, yeah so I Powerful. yeah and like I mean we're really happy like it's been almost two years and mm -hmm. we're just like you know, everything's exactly the way I journaled our relationship to be. And he is 99% of everything I journaled him out to be who he is as a person and what he does for, you know, his passions and his hobbies and what he does to help the world. And it's just, it's amazing when you set your intentions and you decide and you don't wobble it and waver. It, it's amazing how the universe gives you either exactly what you want or something much better comes to you and for you. I really love that. And I thank you for reminding me and the audience about not wobbling about it. Right. You decide. You, you decide. Just decide and yeah. You believe that and you don't go back and forth. Right. Because right. you don't want to let the outside influence the inside because your soul and your mindset, it's all connected together. And it's all energy. I mean, we're all made up of matter, which comes from elements of particles. So you, yeah, you decide and you stick to that decision and you just relax and let it come however it wants to and whenever it wants to. And that's usually when it happens fast because the universe likes speed. Yeah, because I was listening to Abraham the other day and, I was thought, and they were saying how you're, you want to be on your high flying disc. But then I was like thinking to myself, that's, I mean, the universe, the law of attraction is a fast moving energy, right? So how do we like chill out and, and then still this energy is like moving so fast. How do we chill in that energy? <laughs> yeah, but no, I think, I, mean? I think it's a really good question. Because a lot of times people think the law of attraction is some kind of Hollywood magical 
you know, <laughs> moment. That, and that's the only way that it works, you know? And, and I'm thinking to myself, well, I mean, sure, we like to watch movies. And, and, and I can even tie this into when you watch a movie and you believe those characters to be real, right. then, yeah. And, and it's like, it's however you perceive it. So I always tell people, when you're on your, yeah, your high flying disc or you're in flow, you're high vibing, it yeah. doesn't necessarily mean that you have to feel on top of the world and, you know, like you're the king of the world. Right. Like you, you can still feel like calm and centered and relaxed. And it's, it's however it makes you feel, you know, happiest in the sense of not, um, like not like on a drug rush, but like happiest to where you feel content and appreciative and grateful and you completely trust that, you know, everything's happening for you and not to you because you're choosing to respond to situations and events rather than reacting to them emotionally. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Makes perfect, perfect, perfect sense. Yeah. So I, I mean, it's the same thing when you're meeting other people that, you know, you're, you're potentially interested in, you know, just because, you know, you, you get a no, or maybe the date doesn't work out or, you know, whatever that you feel, do you feel that no, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that it's not working. It just means that that is leading you closer to who you are really wanting to be with because you're refining and you're defining and you're polishing up exactly what you want because the universe loves specifics. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you don't want to just say, Oh, I want to be in a loving relationship. Well, that could mean anything that could mean like you have a wonderful bond between you and another friend or your family members or, you know, you have to get specific about what it is you truly want and then trust the process. The no is not a no because there's something wrong with you. The no just means that that person was not the best match for you, but that's okay because you realize, Oh, okay. I'm still focusing on, you know, these traits that I really want in this person. So I always tell people, like, keep your blinders on and keep moving forward because, like, you're getting you're getting closer and closer. And yeah. as soon as you fully surrender to the process, of the how and when, that's usually when, bam, the universe just releases the gift right into your onto your path and and right in front of you. And then you're like, oh, all I needed to do was just surrender and let go. And it's like, <laughs> I posted this thing earlier today mm-hmm. and I said, it was like a quote I posted. And I said, you trust the microwave for when your food is ready. Yeah. So why can't you trust the universe for your manifestations? You know, it's like, right. That's so I mean, true, because, right? Yeah, because the microwave is energy. It's literally energy heating up your food, and yeah. you trust when that process is going to be ready, when your food's going to be ready. So why can't you trust the universe and its divine timing and its way in bringing the love of your life and your most ideal relationship to you? That is so true, right? It's all programming, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's truly like how you choose to look at things and how you choose to believe what is real for you. And so basically my, my workbooks, the don't feel stuck workbooks Mm -hmm. and you know, like my mentoring programs, like the, it's me guiding you on how you can tweak your mindset beliefs and how you can literally empower yourself and take control of your mind rather the other way around where it controls you. You know, that is so powerful. That is, that is so true. I'm just right? thinking about yeah. that. Yeah. When you stop and think about it, I mean, it, it really is. It, it's choosing to respond rather than emotionally reacting. That is so true. And then the other thing too, I want to say about manifesting your ideal mate we have to be in that space where we don't we're not needing a mate we're not needing somebody to complete us we are already happy and whole 
as we are, because I mean, you went, you did all the inner work during those nine years. You like literally worked on yourself and became your best version. Right. And that's how you were able to manifest. You embodied, you became the person, you became your ideal mate. Right. First, yeah. before he showed up. You became right. all of those qualities, all of those characteristics, everything that yeah. he embodies. And so that's why you're able to manifest him. And that's why he was able to, that's why you're still in a relationship with him two years later, because your energies matched. Right. Yeah. Because I mean, I'm not saying it's going to take everyone nine years. I, yeah. I have gone through some awful relationships, but, but um, it's, it's more like you want someone who is going to be loving and positive and supportive. Well, you also have to be that for yourself because they want that too in somebody. So yeah, yeah, it's not relying on another person to make you feel this way. It's being that person that you want it, but be that person in yourself. So that way the universe can do its boomerang effect, do its mirror reflection and, match like you said match the energies and then things just are so harmonious and don't get me wrong I mean it's life we're all gonna have ups and downs but it's it's a matter of making that decision and choosing you know I want this type of relationship and then literally becoming the type of person that you want in your life because really n- numero uno is you you have yeah. to yourself because who wants to be with somebody who doesn't want to take care of themselves and love themselves right that's right that is that is powerful so yeah i just wanted to say that just so that people get it that when you're when people come into your life and they seem like they're the ideal mate and they don't stick around it's because the frequencies don't line up there's something in them or something in you that doesn't match and then so but when you do <clears throat> excuse me like manifest your ideal mate and they stick around and you're happy and things are going well it's because your vibrations match and so right. you're able to stick around because like attracts like right and even if you know even if they fall out of your physical realm it's not because there's something wrong with you it just means that the universe knows what your soul really and truly wants and needs for it to be at its highest happiness Mm -hmm. and wants you to have your manifestations. So that's why I always tell people you have to look at it as, you know what, I'm refining and I'm defining and I'm polishing and, and you know, it's happening. So don't self blame. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel shame. Don't, you know, just, allow the process to happen and you, I promise you I promise you it will be so much better than you could ever imagine and believe me I am one stubborn woman <laughs> <laughs> so if, if this could happen to me I know it could happen for everybody that's lovely that is so powerful Thank you. It's so true though. Like you just have to believe in the process, believe in yourself because we're all human. We all have, you know, things that we may not, you know, 100% completely like about ourselves, but the whole point is to be gentle and loving and accepting of yourself because another person wants that in a mate and you want that in a mate. So yeah, just, I mean, literally make sure you put yourself first when it comes to your care and your needs absolutely that's so important so if they want to purchase your book don't feel stuck in love (laughs) you're talking about love today so if they want to purchase this book or your other book don't feel stuck but I'm talking about I mean I really think that don't feel stuck in love is a really good choice for people who are looking to manifest their ideal mate so again where can your books be found my books are available on Amazon and also my manifesting journal line, which I launched last month. I launched like a whole bunch of different designs of uh, blank line journals to help like aid with my books. And um, all of those are available on Amazon. And um, I 
just did a free love workshop. It's called Manifesting Real Love with Ease, and it's on Facebook. And I, it was originally going to be a two-day workshop, but I turned it into a four or five-day. Um, but the group is still open, so you know if you really want to check it out to kind of get a sneak peek of Don't Feel Stuck in Love, how that workbook flows and works, then definitely go to that Facebook group manifesting real love with ease. Oh, I love it. It just gets better and better. I love all your products and all your workshops and everything that you're offering. Thank you. So, thank you for all that you do. Thank you for coming on again on Awakening with Katina Love and sharing your experience with love and everything. Thank you for having me again. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. And thank you so much for tuning in to Awakening with Katina Love. Namaste.